Greetings, lovelies. Hi, it's Emmy, and I am bespeckled today. So I don't know how many of you guys actually know, but I do wear corrective lenses, but usually they come in the form of contact lenses. But today I didn't feel like, you know, dealing with the whole let's stick our finger in the eye. So, so today I'll be eating another country, and this time it's going to be Switzerland. This isn't the first time it's happened, but I've received packages from the same country almost at the exact same time. I don't know what it is. It's a weird confluence of energy. I don't know. I'm not sure. But it's happened before. So I'll be doing another video of Swiss treats. And of course, what's really great about these packages is a completely different selection of more Swiss treats. So look for that video coming soon. So I received this great package from friends Mr. J and R. This is a postcard of the Swiss Alps. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Gorgeous. And this is from a farmhouse in Emmental. Gosh, so sinking beautiful. All right, let's go. Look at this. Lanyaga. And it looks like some kind of like beef jerky. It smells really intensely smoky. They're like sausages. They're linked together and they're square. How great is that? It looks nice and fatty, a bit like a salami. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Very good. It's similar to those kind of paprika beef jerky sticks, like the Slim Jims. It doesn't have that kind of spice to it, and it's a little bit smokier, but it definitely has that fatty kind of uh, salami-likeness to it in terms of the amount of, of fat. It has a little bit of a skin on the outside, and the meat is very finely ground, but really lovely smoky flavor. How is this normally eaten? Is this taken like on hikes, or is it eaten with bread? Swiss friends do tell. <laughs> Moon's jelly, really strong fruity flavor. That is beautiful. It looks like a little pineapple. Maybe this is like a framboise. Maybe this is a a raspberry. This looks like some kind of citrus wedge. I'm, I'm hoping this is lemon. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. Really nice, soft, jellied gumdrop texture. They actually remind me a lot of these soft fruity chews that I had from Argentina. Very similar soft texture, really intense, nice, lemony flavor in this case, and then coated with crunchy granulated sugar on the outside. Delicious. Let's taste this really nice dark red one. Mmm, mmm, that's delicious. A definitely kind of a berry flavor, maybe raspberry or elderberry, Really nice, almost like like a jam flavor. I really like that. I think I actually like that better than the lemon flavor. So Switzerland is also known for its great cheese. Very sweet of you guys to send me this. That promo cubes of cheese. And you open it from that little tab right there. Oh, I love cheese, love cheese. Oh, it smells great. And I love stinky cheese, oh my gosh. It smells very nutty, and some would say a little bit stinky but I find it divine. It's quite dry in texture. Mmm, mmm. Mm. Gosh, I love cheese. Very crumbly and dry in texture. Has a bit of almost a crispness to the outside. Has like, um, you can taste some kind of the salt. Very nutty in flavor. Reminds me a bit of like a, an aged Gruyere. Delicious. Called Mark Mangbrock. Meat Honig. That might be Honey, isn't that great? It looks like some kind of cookie or something. It smells delicious, it smells spiced and sweet. So it's a gingerbread, I think. Mmm, mm-hmm, wow. Very sweet, spiced with ginger, maybe a little clove. And the outside is a coating of of honey, I think. And so you have that really nice, sweet exterior with a kind of spiced center. It's delicious. I think this would be really great with a cup of tea because it is so sweet. Actually, I had a gingerbread that was from Haiti as well. It was called, oh yeah, it was called Bom Bom Sirop. This one has much sweeter exterior on the outside. Again, this is more to me like a cookie or a cake because it has that sweet coating on the outside. Sport mint. There's all the beautiful little mints inside. Smells deliciously pepperminty. Sport mint kalbombom. It looks like a little piece of taffy. It 
it's a little cold, so I'm going to let it warm up a little bit. Mmm. It's quite sticky. <laughs> but really nice peppermint flavor. I don't detect any other flavors except the peppermint, and it's just delicious. I love peppermint. <laughs> In terms of analogy of flavor, I would say the closest thing I can think of is like a saltwater taffy. Uh, a little bit smaller in size, perhaps a little stickier, but same kind of lovely peppermint flavor and chewy taffiness. But Swiss friends, tell me, is there a reason why it's called sport mint? Are these mints that are used by athletes? Oh, or maybe it requires a lot of jaw strength to eat them. So it's like a sport activity. Lorraine Schalen. I was told by Mr. JNR that it was supposed to be eaten with this. Vermicelles? which I think is like a chestnut spread. Sounds delicious. And I guess you're supposed to eat it with ice as well. It's with ice cream. They said they unfortunately couldn't send the ice. <laughs> and they're so beautiful, look. They look like a piece of plaster and so light. There's a top and then inside here in the cap, there's a little thing to pierce it with. We'll slide the key here. How cool is that? You twist it, it comes, it's coming. Oh! Oh my gosh, love it. It comes out like pasta. Love that. Mmm. That is delicious. This meringue is incredible. Really sweet and slightly styrofoamy. But when you bite it, it just it's sort of like a solid form of cotton candy. You know how cotton candy or fairy floss or candy floss, put it in your mouth, it kind of just dissolves and disappears? That is exactly what the meringue does. And then you have this chestnut spread on top, which is just delicious. If you've never had a chestnut, you're really in for a treat. They remind me of Christmas and winter and fall. And this spread, I suspect, is sweetened, but it really captures that elusive chestnut flavor. Mmm, really good. Gavat Mandel, which I actually had in my Emmy Eats Germany video, my very first Emmy Eats video. I got a package of these in a beautiful little cone. This is a Swiss version. And I've since learned that these almonds are very popular in the holidays. You can find them at festivals when they're freshly roasted and served in those beautiful cones and then coated in a beautiful kind of caramelized some say burnt sugar. Mm-hmm. Yum. Deliciously crunchy, roasted and toasted almond flavor, coated in a deliciously sweet coating that's caramelly and quite sweet and very crisp. In terms of flavor there, I don't believe there's any other additives. I don't taste any vanilla, any cinnamon or spice. It just tastes like caramelized sugar. Not even any butter, but delicious sweet and yummy. Thanks again, Mr. J and Mr. R for sending me this great package of Swiss treats. I really enjoyed myself and I especially enjoyed having a selection of savory treats to compare with the sweet treats. It was really great and some really interesting regional things as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love making these videos. I learned so much. I hope you guys learned something too and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye! <laughs>